I love waking up super early in the morning. Such a fun time. I'm really cold. I'm tired and I'm trying to get back on my schedule. I'm grumpy. Really enjoy waking up super early in the morning because by 11, like, I'm basically done with like everything I need to do. But, like, oh my god, it's like so hard to get up. But I'm really trying to force it and get back onto my routine because right now I'm on a break for school. I know once school starts, I'm really gonna have to start waking up at 5. See, like, if I woke up at 5, I'd be done with the gym by now. But I woke up at 7 instead. I feel like adulthood is about being in a constant state of tired, so I don't think I'm ever gonna feel like fully awake ever again, unfortunately. I have a dilemma. I really like having my long hair. I, I really do enjoy it. It's a good time. But my hair doesn't automatically like part or anything to get out of my face, so like it stays like this. And most of the time, it's like this. I sometimes come to the point where, like, I want to cut it off so bad. I get really frustrated at life, and I just, like, low-key just want to go, like, chop, you know? Good morning. Good morning. Hello, vlog. Hello. Good morning. Breakfast. Thanksgiving has come early this year. Maybe some hot sauce on there? For today's video, we're doing a treat yourself day. Today is a treat yourself day. I am here today with Hello. my sister. Hi. We were working hard last week. So we're gonna go thrifting, run a few errands. Errands. Turn right onto 20th Street. Turn right onto this <laughs> Anyways. <laughs> Let um, him know. I thought this would be a good way to announce I'm pregnant. <gasps> Me too. Anyways, yeah. I thought this would be a good way to announce that we're thinking about doing a podcast. Yes! Yes, we are! So, oh my gosh! So, I thought this would be a good trial run. How do you feel about cancel culture? <gasps> oh, that's scandalous. I feel like with cancel culture, it's very intense, and I feel like people are very critical of people who have large platforms. I feel like influencers don't really have a lot of room to make mistakes that people that aren't influencers can make. Some people do things that are really, really, really bad, Yeah. and they get canceled, mm -hmm. and then society accepts them again. Everyone gets canceled for a reason, but sometimes people who get canceled for the worst things, yeah, they get away with it because it gives them more publicity. When they come back, they come back with a bigger platform. Exactly. Clapping cheeks, come on. I 
cute for $5. I don't know, but I'm still debating. This one for like going out. This one for arena maybe. All right, y'all, so we're at Ikea right now. I am very hungry. Uh, we're starving. We looked at the website though and it said they're closed. So we're just gonna hope for the best. Update, so apparently they are open. We almost did not come here, bro, because she said they were closed. Meatballs! I'm talking Low key. I'm gonna do a quick haul. I got this cardigan thing. Then I got this corduroy button up. It's kind of like a dark cream color. The next thing I bought was this like oversized tee, like a graphic tee. It's supposed to be vintage. And then I got this turtleneck. It's kind of like a autumn color and it's kind of like oversized. Fits super well. And lastly, I got this vintage Bass Pro Shops oversized sweater. 